5, number 2, the BJO presented an ankle arthroscopy using intraoperative distraction. In this presentation, the use of the external fixator is combined with a bone marrow and demineralized bone matrix mixture to facilitate quicker healing and to minimize trauma to the patient. Dr. Lynn Crosby, clinical instructor at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, has been using this technique with great success. So far, there, there's been one report, uh, a case report, in uh, contemporary orthopedics in July of 1989 by Mark Meyerson from Baltimore. And he reported uh, the technique of ankle uh, arthroscopy uh, and the fusion technique with percutaneous placement of pins. How this, uh, how, how the technique uh, that we're describing today uh, differs from that uh, is the placement of bone marrow and demineralized bone matrix uh, mixed together into a slurry and that injected into the uh, uh, ankle joint prior to placement of the uh, compression of the external fixator and then the percutaneous placement of the pins. I believe that this uh, gives an extremely high rate of fusion uh, to this procedure. In this procedure of arthroscopic ankle fusion, the cells are provi provided by the aspiration from the iliac crest or the marrow uh, from the patient themselves. The uh, matrix then is uh, uh, established by uh, the patient's own bone stock that is there and, and you put those two spaces together with the compression of the external fixator plus the addition of the demineralized bone matrix. Now you add the de demineralized bone matrix with the bone marrow as a slurry, put it in the space and then add your compression and uh, so far I have yet to have one uh, not heal. The instrumentation used in distracting the joint is the AO Wagner Humeral Distractor. Two are used one on the medial side and one on the lateral side for proper balance. For the arthroscopy, a high-speed burr is needed, typically the kind used in ACL reconstruction. A full radius or any other type of synovial resector is also used. AO and Richard's cannulated screws are used for screw fixation. The patient is a 42-year-old female who sustained a distal tibial fracture 15 months ago. She was treated with open reduction internal fixation and placement of a spoon plate, bringing the fibula out to length. In addition, leg screws were placed through the distal tibia. Ankle fusion was chosen when this hardware was removed three months ago, one year post-op. What we're going to accomplish is to harvest some bone marrow from the patient's iliac. As bone matrix, with the bone marrow as a slurry, put it in the space, and then add your compression. And uh, so far, I have yet to have one uh, not heal. The instrumentation used in distracting the joint is the AO Wagner Humeral Distractor. Two are used, one on the medial side and one on the lateral side for proper balance. For the arthroscopy, a high-speed burr is needed, typically the kind used in ACL reconstruction. A full radius or any other type of synovial resector is also used. AO and Richard's cannulated screws are used for screw fixation. The patient is a 42-year-old female who sustained a distal tibial fracture 15 months ago. She was treated with open reduction internal fixation and placement of a spoon plate, bringing the fibula out to length. In addition, leg screws were placed through the distal tibia. Ankle fusion was chosen when this hardware was removed three months ago, one year post-op, and little improvement was shown in the patient's pain or mobility. In this part of the procedure, what we're uh, going to accomplish is to harvest some bone marrow from the patient's iliac crest. And how we do that is uh, by using a Thomas needle, which is a 16-gauge needle, and uh, inserting that into the iliac crest and aspirating three to five cc aliquots of bone marrow. Uh, and then we're going to take the bone marrow and mix that with some demineralized bone matrix that we obtained from the Red Cross from uh, cadaver specimens and make a slurry that we have later then inject into the uh, ankle joint to fill up the uh, debrided space. We uh, have to coat the glass syringes with some heparin, uh, 1 to 1,000 uh, and usually a cc uh, just to coat the uh, outer surface, or the, excuse me, the inner surface of the uh, glass syringe so it doesn't clot. Uh, while we're making the preparation. The needle is inserted percutaneously with care taken to avoid the abdomen and by just turning the needle, it enters the crest area. 
If necessary, a mallet is used to place the needle through hard cortical bone. You feel confident that you're in the, uh, inside the marrow cavity when you put the glass syringe on and simply with short strokes try to aspirate the marrow. simply just place the marrow on top of the de demineralized bone matrix and we'll make a slurry. To eliminate the chance of retrieving venous blood, only 5 cc should be taken from each portal site. So what we're looking for is uh, we want the cells that have the potential to stimulate bone formation. Uh, when you use bone graft uh, from the iliac crest, uh, cortical cancellous graft, what you're doing is you're uh, supplying both osteoinductive and osteoconductive material to then stimulate fusion. Dr. Crosby now prepares to place the distraction devices. And this is, makes the procedure much easier in the fact that we can now simply by turning the knob on top of the fixator use it both as a compressor and as a distractor. So that part of the procedure is, has cut down the time considerably. By looking at the ankle when we start, we can pre-set uh, these fixators to where we want to put them as a distractor. And in this particular case, I've chose three and a half centimeters to start. That leaves us three and a half centimeters in to compress the joint at the end of the procedure if we need to. With the C-arm in place, a threaded Steinman pin is first placed through the body of the calcaneus. We place the fixator on one side so we have the appropriate place on the tibia when we put the pin through. The second pin is placed, ensuring that it is placed through the center of the tibia, and the third pin is inserted parallel and distal to the second. The fixator is put in place, making sure it is tightened sufficiently to allow joint distraction. We'll cut off the ends of the pins to make things a little easier to maneuver around and also to protect ourselves from getting impaled. Both fixators, distractors, and players.